Hello, I'm John Kanalopoulos, an eye surgeon based in Athens, Greece, in New York City, New York, clinical professor of ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City. I'm very pleased to share with you the work that we're introducing in this uh, paper published in Clinical Ophthalmology. For years, I've seen studies trying to evaluate flap parameters, um, and in the era of femtosecond lasers, OBL occurrence. Most of these studies are based on caliber intraoperative measurement, and we all as surgeons can appreciate the humongous bias in using such data and evaluating the most essential aspect of femtosecond laser um, LASIK surgery. Uh, we designed a model where there's no bias uh, through a very simple digital application, and we'll be happy to uh, give you the uh, know-how on this application. Uh, one can use the uh, digital image of a femtosecond laser flap and get very precise data on the uh, dimensions of the flap and on the percentage er area of the flap uh, affected by OBL, opaque bubble layer. The FS200 uh, laser, and you're seeing it here, we're in our laser center in Athens, Greece. Uh, we're looking uh, right behind me at the Alcon uh, Wavelight Refractive Suite. Uh, the laser on the left uh, is the FS200 uh, femtosecond laser, and the laser uh, on the right is the EX500 eczema laser. Uh, one of the beauties of the uh, FS200 uh, laser is the fact that at the end of the procedure, it uh, prints out uh, a uh, digital image of the completed flap. Uh, so in this study, we have used this uh, digital image. Uh, we have, uh, as I will show you in a few seconds, we have pixelized uh, the dimensions of the uh, flap created based on the standard diameter of the uh, patient interface cone uh, that we use to perform uh, these femtosecond laser flaps, uh, and then uh, being able to give exact parameters on the uh, uh, dimensions of the flap, both vertical and horizontal. Remember that the flaps have a hinge, so the flap itself is not a perfect circle, it's a circle missing the hinge part. And then again, studying in depth uh, the occurrence of OBL. Uh, the conclusions of the study, which I hope you read and you find interesting, is that this particular femtosecond laser is extremely accurate in performing um, flaps. Uh, the uh, uh, flap parameter accuracy is astonishing. It's at the 0.02 uh, millimeter accuracy level, something that, in my opinion, you can never be able to measure with calibers or a ruler intraoperatively. Um, also, the occurrence of OBL is very low. Uh, we found an overall occurrence of OBL of 6% when we looked at uh, hundreds of patients and the uh, amount of area of the flap that was affected by OBL. I, I hope you found this uh, video interesting. Thank you very much for your attention. This is Dr. John Kanalopoulos signing off from Athens, Greece.